It, uh, it wasn't normal, was it? No, no, I asked her, but she wouldn't come. I tried to make her jealous. Now I look such a fool. Oh, she probably doesn't even know about it. Oh, Norma, where's Mr. Morning? With the auditor. The auditor? I thought he wasn't coming till next week. Hey, don't, don't, don't worry, Ralph, don't worry. We can handle the auditors. We always have. Oh, don't be too sure. Who is he, Norma? Do we know him? His name's Hawk. Hawk? <laughs> Did you hear that? His name's Hawk. <laughs> it's only a name. Yes, that's right, it's only a name. What's he like, Norma? He's got these eyes. What sort of eyes? Penetrating, like he can see right into you. Well, in your case, that wouldn't be too difficult, would it? <laughs> Oh, probably quite a nice chap. Well, he wasn't nice at Manchester. He left them with two nervous breakdowns and a heart attack. God, I wonder if I've got any holiday left. <laughs> nice weekend, Osborne. Oh, yes, yes, thanks. Terrific. Yes, I heard it was quite colourful. <laughs> oh, did you hear that? My life's in ruins. Oh, come on. Cheer up, Osborne. Here, have a crisp. No, oh, have a packet. Where'd you get these? A friend. Now, come on, give us a smile. Why? Well, because it takes less muscles to smile than it does to frown. That should appeal to you, Osborne. That's better. Now, come on, a nice big one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad someone can smile. That's more than I can do. I don't think I shall ever smile again. Well, it takes more muscles to frown than it does to smile, JJ. Well, it does, Osborne. Well, in your case, I'm prepared to make the effort. Now, see if you can find enough muscles to straighten yourself up. Where does he get this nonsense from? I have no idea, JJ. <laughs> Ralph, I'd like a word. I've been talking to the auditor. Things are pretty desperate. They're checking up on everything. I didn't know that. The balloon's gone up, Ralph. You've heard about the filtering. It's incredible. They'd have the laces out of your shoes in this place. I can't believe it. You heard about the manager, sat down at his desk and went base over Apex. They'd even taken his chair out. <laughs> That's terrible, JJ. Well, it will be, when they find them. Everyone's under suspicion. That's why they've brought Hawk in. He's even counting the soap. <laughs> We've nothing to worry about in that respect, have we, Ralph? Oh, certainly not, JJ. Yes, and I told him. I may be old-fashioned, but uh, I still believe in people. I trust my stuff. I wonder if I could tell them that, JJ. I think it would be good for morale. Of course. And tell them if they have half inch anything to bring it back by tomorrow morning. <laughs> They're checking fixtures and fittings. Oh, I'm sure that won't be necessary. No, no, of course. All the trouble is, I'm beginning to lose faith. They've even stolen a month's supply of crisps from the canteen. <laughs> the proceeds of which were intended to finance the children's Christmas party. <laughs> How low can they sink? <laughs> what is the matter with you? You've been jumping about like a cat in hot bricks the whole afternoon. You know what's the matter with me. These crisps, they're from the canteen. They're stolen property. You're jumping to conclusions. All right, where did they come from? One of the canteen staff. <laughs> he assured me he got them through the trade. So there's nothing to worry about? No. Still, I'd better have a word with him. Oh, you can't. Why not? He's in Canada. <laughs> I knew it. It is the rhododendrons all over again. I want you to take these crisps back. I can't do that, Ralph. You see, money's changed hands. The conditions of a simple contract have been fulfilled. I no longer have any legal rights over these crisps. Well, you never did have. That's the trouble. Well, what am I supposed to do? Well, I'll get rid of the box for a start. It's a dead giveaway. <laughs> Mr. West, my name's Hawk. I'm the auditor. <laughs> I've come to count the cash float. Ah, yes. Um, well, that's Harvey's responsibility. If uh, you'll excuse me, I just have to... <laughs> Surely you're responsible for the key as per standing orders? Oh, yes, of course. Uh, the key to the cash box is kept with the cash box in the lock safe. And the key to the safe? Yeah, that's kept in a locked drawer under my personal control. And the key to the drawer? It's under the flower pot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
It's not here. Um, Harvey, have you got it? No. You had it last. Excuse me. <laughs> but well, I, I don't understand it. It was there yesterday. Is there a duplicate set of keys? Oh, of course it's a duplicate set. I mean, what do you take us for? <laughs> Where are they? In the safe. <laughs> Which is locked. Yes. This isn't very satisfactory, Mr. West. No, um, perhaps I left the key at home. Um, perhaps Osborne's got it. I'll, I'll just go and see. <laughs> Excuse me, JJ. Everything satisfactory, Mr. Hawk. No, I'm afraid not, Mr. Morley. How long has West worked here? Oh, uh, about 15 years. Uh, would you say that he may have become uh, dissatisfied, even uh, embittered? Well, what are you getting at? Well, when I entered this office a moment ago, I sensed an atmosphere. <laughs> Do you sense an atmosphere, Mr. Molly? Yes. <laughs> now you mention it, sort of onion flavor. <laughs> no, no, no. Atmosphere of guilt. I can sense these things. And Wes couldn't produce the key to the safe. I'm afraid it has all the classic symptoms of uh, a fiddle. <laughs> I never use that word. I wait. Hawk by name and hawk by nature. I hover, then I drop like a stone. <laughs> well, I don't think you need drop like a stone on Ralph. I trust him implicitly. No, he's always mislaying that key. It's probably in the cupboard. Good. I can't find it. I don't know what they're going to say. Will you stop looking for that key and tell me what on earth we're supposed to do with all these crisps? What do you think we're going to do with them? We're going to eat them. All of them? Yes, before someone comes with a search warrant. Well, can't we just burn them? No, that would be an admission of guilt. I bought these crisps, I paid for them, I bought them in good faith, and we're going to eat them and enjoy them. No, I can't. I'm not hungry. I suppose it's because they've been stolen. Roz, I didn't say they'd been stolen. For heaven's sake, get your story straight. A prosecuting counsel would make mincemeat of you. No, he wouldn't. A wife doesn't have to give evidence against her husband. I wasn't thinking of you giving evidence against me. I thought you could testify regarding my good character. What on oath? <laughs> of course, you only have to tell the truth that you've never known me do anything dishonest. What about when you took next door's dustbin? <laughs> well, that was a mistake. It got mixed up with ours. Ours had a hole in it. <laughs> I picked it up in error. You're always picking things up. Look what happened when you took the children for a walk last Sunday. You came back with 20 yards of chicken wire and a cabbage. <laughs> oh, this is wonderful, isn't it? How can I expect other people to believe me when my wife doesn't? Just when I need comfort and support, you turn on me. I'm sorry, Ralph, but you can never resist a bargain. I can see it's going to be the rhododendrons all over again. You had a perfect right to take those rhododendrons. Then why did we have to plant them at two in the morning? <laughs> it's like burying a body. And Harvey said we had to be discreet. Harvey? He sold us a lawnmower cheap. The blades won't go round. Well, that's because you don't push it hard enough. <laughs> I wonder who that is at this time of night. They come for me. Heaven's sake, Ross, keep them talking. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Morley. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, just wait. Oh, good evening, JJ. Have you found it? Found what? The key, Ralph, the key. No, no, I've looked everywhere. Can I get you a drink, Mr. Uh, no, thank you, Ros. No, no, I have to keep a clear head. I'd like to talk to Ralph in private, if I may. Oh, yeah, I'll yeah. finish the washing up. Oh, why don't you sit down, JJ? Yeah. Not that! <laughs> How long have we known each other, Ralph? Uh, almost 15 years. As long as that. Yes, uh, one gets to know a man pretty well in 15 years. His strengths, his weaknesses. After all, I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't know some of mine. Oh, yes. <laughs> I beg your pardon? No, your strengths, JJ. Yeah. <laughs> Quite. Well, then you know that one of my strengths is loyalty. I've watched you over the years, Ralph. I've, I've watched you grow and take responsibility, possibly even helping to shape you, perhaps uh, even taking the place of your late father. He's still alive, JJ. <laughs> oh, is he? Oh, well, never mind. Just for the present, let me be your father. What? I know you well enough to know when you're afraid. It took a bit of courage coming here tonight, you know. 
Mud sticks. What mud? Oh, come on, Ralph, you know why I'm here. I want you to listen to something. Can you hear it? Deep down. <laughs> A still, small voice saying I've done wrong. Yes. I thought so. I understand, Ralph. The temptations, the, the pressures of a young family. How much? 112 packets. <laughs> what? Excuse me. They were a bit crushed and I've eaten a few, but I bought them in good faith. I'm not talking about crisps. But you said they'd been stolen. No, no, no. That was all explained. They were found to be unfit for human consumption. <laughs> so they shared them out amongst the canteen staff. Oh, Harvey never told me. Oh. Don't tell me it was one of Harvey's bargains. You should have known better after what happened to me. Do you remember that wax jacket, the one he got cheap from the trade? That was never fully explained. All I remember was standing in front of the fireplace of the George Hotel when I burst into flames. <laughs> Only prompt action from a quick-witted waiter with a soda siphon prevented me from becoming a human torch. No, no, I'm talking about the cash float. Oh, you're not suggesting oh, right. Of course not. No, no, no. I trust you implicitly. No, I stand with you, shoulder to... My God, there's someone outside. I've been followed. Well, I, I can't be seen here, Ralph. <laughs> Find that key. Mr. Morley's just gone out through the kitchen on all fours. Yes, I know. What did he want? He wanted to be my father. <laughs> Hasn't he left that a bit late? <laughs> Who's that looking through the window? I think it's Harvey. Oh, I knew it. It's going to be the rhododendrons all over again. Come in, Harvey. Well, Through those curtains, Ross, I can't afford to be seen here. Oh, don't you start. I looked for it everywhere. What? The key. I can't find it. Oh, you won't. I've got it. Then why didn't you say so? They'll think there's something wrong with the cash. There is. Mm. What? Well, when I say there's something wrong, that's not strictly true. It's just that it's not all there at the moment. You <laughs> spent it. No, it was an act of kindness. An act of kindness? You? I lent it to a friend who needed the money. I felt sorry for him. Well, you can't afford to feel sorry for him. It's your neck or his. You've got to get that money back, even if it means putting him in the poorhouse. Who is it? <laughs> it's me, isn't it? <laughs> I thought that money was yours. And I thought you'd have it back before the auditors came. 150 pounds? Where am I going to get that kind of money tonight? Ros, you know what this means. Oh, yes. We'll have to leave the church. I'll never let you go around with the plate after this. This was not funny. Was. I know. I can almost hear the sound of the cell door closing and the tramp of feet in the exercise yard. Don't. It'll mean learning to talk out of the corner of your mouth, being beaten up in the TV room. How can you be so heartless? I think I'm entitled, since it means that I'm going to have to give you this. Well, where did this come from? It's our holiday money. What well, all this? How? I recycled my wardrobe. I thought, well, you only need cottons for Mallorca. Ros, I don't know what to say. Just take it. It's a wonderful thing to do, Ros. Give up your holiday. I am sorry. So am I. Yeah. I could fix you up with a cheap... Get out! <laughs> you stop flashing that torch around. Have you got it? It's not here. What? The key to the safe. It's missing. Oh, look again. Osborne, what are you doing here? I've come to return this. <laughs> it's the key to the safe. I had to take it. You see, I, I borrowed some money. What? Osborne. I know it's wrong, but well, there was the silk pyjamas and the weekend in Derbyshire. I was going to put it back before the count. Have you got it now? Yes, I've robbed my mother. <laughs> Good. Then we'll say no more about it, but never do it again, Osborne. Never risk your future for a pair of silk pyjamas and a few hours potholing. It's just not worth it. Thanks, Ralph. That's all right. Now we'll put it back. Wait a minute. The key to the cash box, it's missing. I know. I've got it. I don't know what made me do it. There was this coat in the window. I couldn't resist it. I meant to put it back, but there was no time. Oh, not another one. This is like Friday at Nat West. <laughs> Whatever happened to honesty? Have you got the money now, Norma? Yes, I've sold my earrings. Right, then give me the key. No, give me the key. And the cash box. Wait a minute. 
Well, you want the cash box? I'd like to count the cash. At this time of night? Why not? Unless there's something wrong. Is there something wrong? No. <laughs> Whatever gives you that idea? Well, it reminds me of a similar situation I encountered in Manchester. There was a missing key there, and I became suspicious. Particularly when I noticed the beads of sweat on the chief clerk's brow. <laughs> I knew he was my man. What happened? I broke him. Broke him? Well, we offered to refund the money, but it was too late. Instant dismissal and loss of pension rights. A promising career ruined. Still, I don't suppose he had a wife and children. Oh, yes, four children, I believe. <laughs> now, if you'd hand me the cash box. Harvey. No. No, this is persecution. I won't stand for it. I'll go to the union. Harvey, you're not in the union. You refuse to pay your subs. <laughs> you better give it to him. If I could have the key. Never. <laughs> Norma, I don't think that's a particularly safe place. <laughs> you may as well have it. No. Give me that key, Miss Dub, before I'm forced to take it. That's harassment. You leave me no alternative. Now, look, there's no need for any unpleasantness. I'll get it. <laughs> if anyone touches me, I'll scream. What on earth is going on in here? I'm being obstructed by your staff, Mr. Wally. They refuse to let me count the cash. At this time of night? I suspect a shortage. Possibly a defalcation. My God, Hawk. You know how to wound, don't you? I may be an old fool, I, I may be a dreamer, but I still believe in people. And these are not machines, Hawk. They are flesh and blood. And when I look into their faces, what do I see? Honesty. <laughs> integrity. <laughs> trust. And now I see something else. Hurt. <laughs> I won't have their feelings trampled on in this manner. You can count the cash in the morning at the proper time. But Mr. Good Paul night, Mr. Hawk. You were brilliant, JJ. What can we say? You were magnificent. I'm sure I speak for everyone when I say I hope we'll be worthy of the trust you have put in us. Well, you could begin by putting the money back. It's not a piggy bank, you know, right? <laughs> yes, JJ. Um, Norma, the key? <laughs> can you manage, my dear? Yes, thank you. <laughs> oh, quite warm. <laughs> And don't let it happen again. I put my reputation on the line for you tonight, and it's the last time. Remember that. Here's yes, JJ. JJ. Oh, JJ, you owe it 75. <laughs> as much as that, I must really start using the cast dispenser.